You know, after playing Sims 1 and finding 9 items I forgot about, naturally my brain went to Sims 2 and I thought, are there any items over here I forgot about? Over the years, I have a lot more playtime on Sims 2, so I thought to myself, there's probably no way I can find 9 items that I personally forgot about. That is until I dug into the game. <laughs> I found 9 items I forgot about. So this item is more of a category of item, but then when I looked at the category of items, the memory started coming back to me, so I decided, let me pick the one that I least remember from this section of items. As we zoom out, we keep zoom- what the- oh my goodness, what kind of statue is that? Let's go investigate. I don't know why anyone would put this on any of their lots. Maybe on a community lot or something like that, but on a residential lot? Really? Giant pancake man? The item is called Huge Bill. For 5,250 simoleons, you can find it under decorative, under sculptures. Oh, the tales we could tell you about Huge Bill. So enormous, his axe could split the hairs of Sasquatch himself. So gigantic, they really want you to know he's huge. It's actually got three different color variations too. I kind of like that one. And we got this one. Which Huge Bill is your favorite? One, two, or three? And this is that section of items I was telling you about at the very beginning. Look at these giant statues. I don't know why they include so many of these in The Sims 2. And then there's this ninja guy. They're on my list at number nine because even though they are so huge, I totally forgot they existed. So we're gonna stay on this lot to look at this next item. And as you can see, I've replaced Huge Bill with what is seemingly a snowman. Now, I hear what you're saying at home. You're saying to me, this is just some stupid snowman. Come on, T, you can do better than this. Hold that thought. There's actually a reason that I brought this item up. The first thing we need to talk about is this switch middle. As you can see, we can switch the middle out for a nice little lovely pose. Oh, you can do it the other way too. <laughs> you can also do the same thing with the head and, uh, or you can switch it again and, oh my. And you're thinking that's all there is to it, right? <laughs> Wrong. So here we have the snowman construction set. I want to start off by just building a base. And you can just build the middle and it just piles right on top. So you actually build a little snowman. How cool is that? Just kidding, there's more to it. Let's take this bad boy, put him on the ground. I'm gonna take the big base and I'm gonna put it on his head. Can't do it here, no sir. Or I can take the headpiece and go like that. You could go like this, or like this, or like this, or like that. Or even perhaps like this, perhaps like that. So I don't really know what the system is. I, I think that they might have made some janky coding, to be honest with you, because you could just keep stacking it on top of each other to get the most ridiculous looking snowman, but it doesn't mix and match perfectly though. It's like only certain combinations will allow you to stack it up like this. Cause look at this. Now I can't put it back on top. Escape. Oh, we're back up there. And look, if I zoom out, I can put it on this guy now. Look at this. I mean, just look how crazy the snowman can get. You could rotate it around and everything. Yeah, you gotta get creative with how you stack them, but you could theoretically just keep stacking them until you can't stack them anymore, like right here. And that's why it's on this list. We are here. We are here at our Sims 2 rags to riches extreme lot, but I figured this would be a great place to show off this next one. Man, this mood is terrible from last time. <laughs> Time to wake up. If you go under miscellaneous and then go into your party section, you're gonna find an item for 245 simoleons called the Stack of Flames Bonfire. I think this item is really interesting because you're not expecting to have a bonfire come out of a Sims 2 item list. I think it's really interesting. You got this teddy bear just hanging on there. It's gonna, it's gonna get torched. I think it's easily forgotten about because most people are not going to buy a bonfire set. They're probably gonna buy a campfire. This logs of burning is something I would have focused on, which looks like that for the same amount of money. Or you can do a bonfire. What's especially interesting about it though, is it does give you a distinctive reason to use it rather than the logs of burning. The logs of burning gives you two comfort, two fun, and four environment, whereas the stacks of flame bonfire is 10 environment. Now I know what you all are waiting for. Let's go ahead and just light the fire. And that is a nice, big, burning pile of wood. And once it's all burnt out, that's exactly how it looks. There's just some scraps on the ground and just gotta clean it up. And we're gonna showcase this next item in the Sims 2 Maze Lot Challenge Lot. It is good to see you again, my friend, the madness. We are actually gonna place this item right here on this very end table. And to me, this is my personal most forgotten item. I had no idea this even existed in the game. To me, this item would be maybe decorative or miscellaneous, but it's neither of those things. You go into hobbies and then you go into miscellaneous. And here you're gonna find a bunch of little crafts and things that you can do as a sim. But this first one, what do you think that is? This, my friends, is a little ant bun.
What is this? A center for ants! For 185 simoleons, for two environment, you can actually have a little ant farm in your game. You wouldn't even think to put an ant farm in your house. At least, I don't think most people would. If I went into hobbies and into miscellaneous, I'd be looking at doing this fixer upper car or these different type of workbenches. And that's why I find it so odd is the placement of this item because all of these are different little things and arts and crafts you can work on, but an ant farm? Little ants? And it gives you the option to observe the ants. And you do that animation. When's the last time you saw this animation in Sims 2? Why are you pretending to bite them, dude? You're so weird. This next item, I can promise you, you 100% forgot about unless you're specifically into this kind of thing. There's actually a 500 simoleon basic ballet bar. You see, these workout machines, they all have similar animations and they all fall in the same category, but this one stands on its own completely. It actually does get installed directly against a wall and it gives you the option to warm up on it. You get in your little outfit and you stand. You do your poses, you balance, you reach. You do your stuff. I always forget that this item's even here, which is why it's on the list. So similar to the Sims 1 video that we did on forgotten items, I had to include a build item. I just could not resist. If you go into miscellaneous, you have the option to add an elevator in the Sims 2. And what I find extra crazy about this is you can actually design the inside of the elevator to look a type of way, or you can just build the elevator shaft. And this is how it works. You take your elevator and you place it. And then you go upstairs and it doesn't seem to work, but it's actually just a really finicky mechanism in the game. If you add a floor to every part of it, including the top of the elevator, go back to your elevator, make sure you have no roof in the way. See how specific this is? Remove the roof and then place the top part of your elevator. And you could theoretically do this for up to three stories of house. I don't think it's the most intuitive design to be honest with you, because the only option it gives is go to this floor and I would imagine if I was on the first floor, I would want to go to the second floor and I would just click go to second floor, right? It only gives you the option to go to this floor. So then you have to go upstairs and then click go to this floor for it to work. And let's watch them in action. Let's see how the inside looks. Oh, how nice. He even pushes the inside. Go to the top floor. And look at that, we're up there. So for this item, I have taken us to the Sims 2 lot where everything is a pool. I'm going to take my pool tool and, heaven forbid, delete some of the water. This is a sauna. It's the only item in the game that I'm aware of that actually adds a wall automatically as part of the item's build. As you can see, it actually adds a full-on door, and on the inside, it is, in fact, a sauna. It's for 4,000 simoleons. You have two different color choices, but it gives you comfort eight and environment six. And there we go. It's starting to get steamy and you just go in there and sweat it out. And for this one, we have yet another recreational item. This item is the Deluxe Log Rolling Pit by Burley's Burling for fun 10 plus body and a group activity for 1,800 simoleons. I absolutely forgot that this item was even a thing. I mean, just look how ridiculous this thing is in the first place. It's a rolling log in water with logs around. Look how much space this thing takes. I don't imagine you're installing this on a regular basis on your Sims 2 playthroughs. You're just not. Even back in the day when you played this, you can do a log roll. There he goes. Oh, and he is in. He took a plunge. <laughs> I imagine the higher body you get, the more balance you're going to have. But I had to include this item. It's probably the most unique item I've seen in any of the Sims games, especially in the Sims 2. All right, everybody, here we are at the last item. And I've got to say to me, this is the most unsuspecting item on this list, which is why I've placed it at number one. When I saw this item, I couldn't believe my eyes. It seems so normal, but the way it's done is so weird. I want you to look at this lot. Look at this lot and tell me if you see a weird and suspicious rug. I see you've looked at all the rugs. Well, whichever rug you picked, you're probably wrong. Get, get this, this is the rug. Yes, I'm not joking. That's a rug. I don't make the rules. Look at this. What kind of rug is this? A basketball court rug? Look, 
you literally have this and you're like, no, Tytar, stop it with this. That's not a rug. This is a half court thing. Don't even try it. Let me prove you wrong. Here we are at the buy mode. This would be under miscellaneous if I was to place it somewhere. Oh my goodness. I don't see it anywhere. Miscellaneous? What the heck? It's not there. Decorative. Rugs. The very last option. It's a rug. Half court press for 1,200 simoleons under the rug decorative category. It does nothing for environment. It does nothing. It's literally just a basketball court. You can rotate it and make a full blown court. So you want to put a basketball hoop, right? It's a basketball court. Well, let's go to hobbies and go to recreation. And look, there's a basketball court. And what the heck? It comes with the court. So what's the point of this item? I get, you can literally put it on the rug. It's just a basketball court you can't play basketball on. Well, I guess you could, there's just no hoop. There's no basketball, it's just ball. Comment below how many items you got and don't lie, I'm so sick of these liars. I need all these items. I wanna leave it this like. Be honest, tell, tell me the truth. Of the nine, how many of them did you know? 